This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Silva is 13 years the elder. He will have a three inch reach advantage. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing the champion, fighting. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Anderson the Spider. Silva! Alright, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Great. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker, 
at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Silva strike attempt there is. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, huge head kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Changes his stance. Well, Silva's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Just missed with the straight left hand. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Landed a big kick there. Checks that leg kick. Switches back to Southpaw now. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. He got him. Look at the turnover in that kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, nice punch there by Connor. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Connor McGregor. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Nice kick with the right hand. 20 seconds left. Stick with the right hand. Oh! oh straight right. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so a high level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. He thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Oh, we'll see how it goes here in round two. Anderson Silva versus Conor McGregor. McGregor gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management Whoa! better than anyone. What he? Oh, he got a real good, too. strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Well, not necessarily the efficiency you'd be looking for, landing with 36% accuracy against Anderson Silva. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Hands high, hands high. I mean, geez, Louise. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Punch is blocked. Oh, what a punch. 
over and over. He's landing these big body kicks. Left hand punch for the punch. Silva gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice kick. Beautiful spinning attack there. Oh, collar tie. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. The accuracy at its best. Again, they clinch. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. McGregor gets lit up by that straight punch. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecard will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to sleep. Punches in bunches. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Slip to avoid that right hand. Oh! Oh! oh. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh! Oh, straight right. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Nice stick with the right hand. Silva gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Just over three minutes to go. 70 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. And connecting with just a 36% accuracy oh. there against... Ooh, diving punch. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. You got to check these low leg kicks. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh! <laughs> Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. 
Final seconds. Beautiful hit kick. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this almost a 15 minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. You got him. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, he postured up there. Oh, man, that was slick. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. All right, so he postures up, and he's out. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Fight through it, fight through it. Posturing up now, nicely done. Down with his mouth. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Good course, man. Chase that finish down now. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. No! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Oh, big left hook there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. There is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and...